Okay, Mr. Phobes here. Um, I'm going to try and quickly show you how to <coughs> work with um, redrawing this layout so you can cut it on the laser. Uh, it's not a requirement, but uh, you might have kind of fun doing this. So uh, I'm going to show you how to bring in this uh, uh, scale drawing. So it's like the, the one that you've seen, but I've scaled it now. Um, the, what we're looking at is a template <coughs> for the laser cutter that's been set up by uh, Carrie Ann Quick. And uh, the cutter is a cutting bed that is uh, 18 or 18 inches high, 18 inches high by 24 inches wide. So we're placing in one of our pieces of paper um, or drawing that's 12 inches high by 24 inches wide. I'm going to ask you to cut a piece of paper that's 18 by 24 and we'll just cut it out of that. And the reason being is that it's held in place a little bit easier um, in the laser cutter when it's that size. So uh, some of the things that are important you're going to see is that when you bring the template in I've created what's called a drawing layer which holds the drawing. Um, there are the guides, and those guides are created uh, for the laser cutter. Don't turn those off and don't change them. Uh, they're very specific. They're the lines. They represent um, the area that we don't want to uh, cut into. Um, and then you have what's called the, uh, the, the cut line, which is the actual cutting, and then something called an etching line. So I'm going to bring these up so you can see them. So the cut line you can see that it came over there. It's where the laser is actually going to cut the paper through. Um, the etch line, the blue lines, are where there, it's going to etch it and those will be folding lines. If I turn the drawing layer off you can see what the entire uh, cut line looks like. So anything that's red is going to get cut all the way through the paper. Anything that's blue is going to be etched and will give us a folding point. Oh, I see. I forgot one here, but we'll we'll add that in. There should be one more right here. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to a new uh, file. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So um, when you when you open it up, when you open up the file, it's going to have everything set for you. Um, it's going to be an Essentials cl Classic. Uh, the layers will come up so you don't have to do a lot of setting up for this so I'm going to go to the um, uh, an untitled one so uh, you're going to have uh, something I'll show you that uh, it's going to be uh, this laser 0.25 scale uh, it's a quarter scale uh, template so um, that's the one that you'll download for Blackboard and then you'll open it up <clears throat> if you notice, um, so here's one that's all set up uh, ready for the, the laser and ready for us to put in our, our, our drawing. Um, if you've noticed, I've set the grid so it's uh, <clears throat> every one inch and it's divided by quarter inches because we're working in quarter scale. So um, this is going to be very useful for us. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in the drawing. We've got to make sure that we bring it on the drawing layer. So select the drawing layer and then go file place and um, it's this one called laser cut chair JPEG so that's on blackboard you're going to download that you're going to place it and what we're going to do <clears throat> we'll just kind of randomly place it right now but one of the things we want to make sure we did I just kind of got lucky is if I move this I want to move the upper right corner right to that guideline so it snaps right there I don't want to go to the edge of the paper there. So if it's not snapping in place, go view and make sure you've got snap to grid set. All right, and it'll snap to the grid. <clears throat> this drawing is pretty good. It's a little bit off in some areas, I'll show you, but um, when we draw the lines, we're going to snap to the grid. So um, uh, go ahead and uh, click out of it, and then that'll place it. So we're going to go ahead and lock this. Um, just click on this little lock layer. And now we're going to go to the red cutting layer. Okay, And this is where we're going to draw uh, the cut lines. So um, what you might want to do <coughs> is enlarge the drawing a little bit. So that's Command plus on the Mac. I think it's Control plus on the PC. And what we're going to do is we're going to 
create a, a cut line around this. So the first thing we want to do is we don't need to worry about this. This is just a waste. So we're going to cut out this whole rectangle. So um, we're going to, uh, one of the things we need to do is we want just the stroke. We don't, def we don't want the fill. So we click this and then the little no sign and then bring this back on and then double click it. And uh, we want, if you read the directions, um, we want the R set to 255. That's the color that the laser recognizes as a cutting layer. We don't want uh, any green and any blue. So this is 100% um, red. So we're going to go OK. And that's what's now in the palette. So we'll get out of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw all the way around this. But the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the rectangle tool. And I'm basically just going to give us this one rectangle that the laser is going to cut. So you can see what I did. If I turn off the drawing layer, you can see that it's created this rectangle, this cutting rectangle. So that's good. So as you're working, um, you can turn this on and off to see what you've drawn. Okay. Um, all right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, pen tool, not the curve pen tool, but the pen tool. And you can see that right now the stroke is set at one. We're going to set it a little stronger just so we can see it. Um, and then uh, we're going to start drawing. So I don't need to draw these straight lines because they're already there. But what I might want to do is now start drawing. And it's set snap to grid, which is useful for these vertical lines. OK, so I'm going to hit escape and that will get me out of the command. And now I'm going to start over here. Now, this one is a little tricky. It works better to go down, over, and then up this way. So I'm going to go down like this to here. And what might happen is that this is giving me a few little problems here. So actually what I should have done, so I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and select this delete it. Um, what I should have done is done it this way. So I'm going to start here and then go up and then hit escape. Okay. Uh, there's one little problem in the drawing here is that my original drawing is off a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to start right here uh, and go to the grid and go ahead and doesn't look like it's right but it is going to be right hit escape to get out of it and then we're going to need a cut line here escape we're going to need a cut line like that I'm going to disappear for a minute here and finish this okay so um, I'm going to turn this off and you can see that I've got all my cut lines. Now let me show you something because I was working with um, snap to grid uh, there's a couple of problems it's not a disaster but notice how this line right here does not line up and it's going to be a little bit of a problem when I go to run my etch line so I'm going to go to the direct select tool direct selection tool and I'm going to select the little anchor point here and I'm just going to move it. Oops. So what I have to do is I have to go and, and disconnect the snap for to grid and now this is going to let me move it wherever I want and it won't snap to the grid. So maybe move it up just a little bit this way and I could probably move this guy down a little bit. go. That's pretty good. So I'm going to back off a little bit and then uh, I'll turn this guy off. That looks good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this layer and now I'm going to go to the blue uh, engraving layer. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to um, engrave 
uh, the layers that are not the lines that are not cut layers. So what I might want to do is uh, take off the um, cut stroke just and then I'm going to work on the blue. Now you've got to make sure that this color now is 255 blue and then get rid of the red so it's 255 so the laser recognizes that okay so that's going to be my edge layer so um, I think all the horizontal lines and vertical lines let's leave let's go back to snap to grid and then I'm going to go to the tool it's still three point that's good um, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go so probably what would have been smart to do is get out of this let's do one long line all the way across okay and then we're going to do now it looks off but it's going to line up with because it's snapping to the grid it's going to line up with what we've got so let's do one here and then let's do one here Again, over there. Okay, now I need to do these angle lines. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go view and I'm going to turn off the snap to grid. And then, this way, this is going to allow me to. So I'm hitting escape to get out of the when I'm moving. Oops, shouldn't have done that. Okay, and that should be good. Let's see what it looks like. Take that off. There's all those lines. I can turn red cut line on. That looks correct. Now, this guy isn't quite far enough, and I could go ahead and um, hit the selection tool, select it, and it'll let me extend it a little bit until it's. There we go. I mean, if it didn't go all the way, it wouldn't be that that big a deal. Okay, so uh, that's it. You know, if I turn this back on now, what I would do is um, let's, for the time being, let's go ahead and lock these layers so that there's not, not going to be a problem. And all you're going to do is save it as an Illustrator file. So just go File, uh, Save As, and then just give it a name. You know, maybe your name. Uh, something like that <clears throat> save it to the desktop and then what you're going to need to do is uh, bring it in on a flash drive and then um, you don't need to know how to use the lasers or cutter either I'll help you do it or one of the assistants will help you do it and that's all there is to it